Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst and today's happy is, we're sorry we're late, but we had paying customers again and it's hard to tell a customer you've got to rush downstairs and do a happy. So anyway, we've taken care of our customer, didn't you Christina? We did. We did. And that gave me a little bit more time to figure out what I was going to do today because today's been a little bit of a struggle, but we're going to figure it out. So what I thought we'd do to start out first, I know I showed Dahlia's on the pre one, but I thought, look how pretty that would be to put that with that. And just something really super simple. So this container is from UCI and it's $34, it's glass. So what I wanna do first on this is I'm gonna use a lot of foliage. So I'm gonna make a collar of Aurelia leaves or Fatsia leaves, whatever which one you wanna call them. We're gonna curve those down. So how is everybody? I know everyone's wondering where we are. So, Well, everyone's doing good. We have Miss Joanne. She says hello from Wisconsin. How is Papa Norwood, Papa, Sister Christine, Papa how is, and Chris, <laughs> Sister Christina doing? She's Papa. getting ready in case Mother Norwood makes the guest appearance. That won't be till Friday. And we're still, uh, I'm, I'm having to get my people get with her people about that in the negotiations. So anyway. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, we have friends from Connecticut, Oregon, Maryland, Texas, Pennsylvania. Awesome. Mr. Oh. Bobby, or Mr. Bobby said late coming on, question mark? Yeah, yep, pretty yep, much. We are. Better late than never. So anyway, look at these scabiosa. Oh, they oh, we used gorgeous. those at a wedding last weekend. They were beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm. They're really purpley. And then we, we have, have go ahead. South Africa, oh, North mercy. Carolina, Michigan, Bismarck. So then I thought we'd use a little bit, of, well not a little bit, a couple of these purple hydrangea. Those are so big. Gorgeous. And then we're probably gonna do a little bit of a fill-in with a little bit of the seed eucalyptus. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the eucalyptus in now. This is so easy. So for a lot of our happy family members that go on the website and they're like, I can't find that, I can't find this. We're working on that. That's been my task today. And we added the um, silk stem cutters. We've had a lot of people ask about those. So now those are online for They're you to online. purchase. They're online. That's right. And quite a few more containers are online. You actually spent the whole day doing that. I yeah. have. Yeah. Marketing here and I am. your favorite my thing favorite. to do. And we also, if you're looking for fall fragrance, I added all of our aromatique, pumpkin spice, and... Cinnamon cider on Cinnamon the Cinnamon cider uh, and some Capri. Well, we're working on Capri candles too. Yeah, Capri's next, but I haven't gone to that yet. I'm only one person. I'm only one person. So we have friends saying they love, um, they love these hydrangeas. Uh, they are pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all the leaves off. We only do this almost every day and someone always asks, why are you taking the leaves off? That's so that all the hydration from the water up the stem will go to the head of the flower not into the leaf and it it really really makes a difference on the longevity of the hydrangea bloom itself everyone said it looks beautiful it is kind of gorgeous so got a good so we're gonna take a long cut the longer the cut on the hydrangea the better for sure so Miss Carolyn, who she watches every day she's watching with her mom who's 94 today. oh my she's goodness watching for her first time well, hey, Mama. How you doing? We so. have friends from Oxford, Mississippi. Someone mm -hmm. asked if the lady heads have come in. Y'all. Yeah. It's a situation. I should have never shown those heads. I, I know. It's all your fault. So, I know it's all my fault. I thought it would be so easy. But y'all, when they we had come in, we're going to turn into a shipping department yeah. because there's about 78 of y'all that are yeah. waiting on the when, heads. When, they first, when we first did them, I thought, well, no one will want these. We've got about 10 left or 12 left. And lo and behold, that was the thing to have. So, so we have a few people asking if you're going to do a pop of orange in this arrangement. I'm actually going to keep it all monochromatic today. Okay. Someone but, said, are these hydrangeas at the Conway store? She lives right across from the Conway store. Um, they location. can get them at the, high, at the, high, the bleh, Conway. Look, Conway store. Can definitely order them. We have plenty in. So, so, And if you want them, you can just let us know and we'll get them right, to the Conway yeah, store. Yeah, because they go to Conway tomorrow morning. We try to go to all of our brain stores two to three times a week. 
taking more supplies, and so they definitely would be able to get those. But we also have Avery that could pick it up on her way. Oh, too, and they have so. a wedding that we have wedding flowers going for too. Don't they or something? Pine Bluff does. Pine Bluff does. I wish somebody had another. Miss Paula though. said, "Blame it on COVID." <laughs> Why the heads aren't here? Someone said, "No dahlias." Dahlias is in the next arrangement. Dahlias is in the next arrangement. We have friends from Maine, Ireland, awesome Texas. You know, I really should have put those leaves in last on the collar because you can control them better. Once you get the hydrangea in place, it's easier to put that collar in. Do we sell right. dried hydrangeas? We do. We're actually going to make one of those with dried hydrangeas probably next week. Um, oh. Someone's, oh, Miss Alice, she said that she just found us today. Her phone did not alert us. We haven't missed too much, Miss oh, Alice. Yeah, we were late. We were super late. We were super late, but paying customers and our wedding weddings those yeah. are pretty important yeah we have friends that love these hydrangeas they said awesome. it's beautiful so now i'm just going to add the scabiosa in and i kind of want those to wing out a little bit so another, we have another some technical of our, term yeah wing out of course mm -hmm. so we have some of our happy family members that said if you added orange that would be a pop to the container well, hang on. I'll pull something from over here and we'll add it to it. Okay. We can show with <laughs> and without to make everyone happy. As usual, on the fly, we'll make on it up fly. as we go. When are we as not? we go. Okay. We have friends from Louisiana, from Florida, Arizona. Awesome. Someone said, what wholesaler do you use for your flowers? We the list actually are, is our, long. We, well, we are actually our own wholesaler. We have our own wholesale company. Yes. And so all of our flowers we buy directly mostly from the farms or we have brokers that actually go to the diff different farms and put the product together for us so like we buy directly from farms out of south america and we buy directly from farms in california washington oregon michigan so miss sandy said she accidentally found us on facebook and she's in heaven she's a uh, floral fanatic from california oh my goodness so we're glad that you found yeah, us. We're to, yeah. Y'all, I really like this without orange. I love the scabioso. Is it scabioso? Scabioso. Oh. Like I said, uh, you buy it, you can call it whatever you want true. to. True. Okay. Tomato, okay. tomato, potato, potato. You know what else we forgot to do? We didn't bring the arrangement so everyone could see the roses on my desk, our experiment. Hey, and they look great. They do. But I can't tell the difference. I cannot either. And I look <laughs> at them every day. I've been at my desk a lot. I cannot tell the difference. But you know what? On that rose, it probably won't make that big of a difference because there's so many petals there. That's true. I mean, if it was a lower petal count rose. Everyone said they love it just the way it is. Yeah. Okay. Someone said, look at you, Mr. Flexible. Uh, we are flexible. We have friends from Holland on today. Oh, my goodness. We have one of my distant cousins from Washington watching today. So this is so easy. No big, no big deal here, trust me. Next one's going to be a little bit more complicated. We'll see. It'll be easy for six. you. Well, it's got six in it. So. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Just ha, kidding. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, that purple is so pretty in there. It is pretty. The thing I want to do, though, with this one, though, is make sure that these leaves kind of have a little bit more of a purpose does that make sense so that there's like tons of leaves in this and so what I'm doing with that is I'm actually taking these and rolling them like that and then I insert them in between the hydrangea so it almost like little collars between each one of the pet each one of the hydrangea so we have um, lots of friends saying that it's gorgeous beautiful they love it well, good. Uh, Lou said they caught us live again from Tasmania. Oh, wow. Australia. Oh, wow. Um, That's what, you know where Tasmania is, the Tasmanian devil. Well, yeah. Um, Miss Mary said that she can't see her eyes very well today because of the reflection. She said, can you add that to adjust your glasses to your never-ending oh, list yeah, of things okay, to do? Okay. I, need to get the no, I need to get the no glare. Yeah, you on. need the no glare next time. But you know why I don't do that? It's because they always, and maybe I'm the only one, but after you have them for a little while, they get cloudy. Oh, do they? Yeah, like when you're at like a lot of heat around them, they the clouds up and plus they scratch so much easier. But could be wrong. 
Maybe I'm the only one. Miss Pam maybe. said the Scabiosa are absolutely gorgeous. She's never seen any in that shade of deep purple. And she said she loves how you let them wing out. Wing out. So let me take a little bit of this. Oh, and we have Miss Stacy from Melbourne. Oh, cool. That would be pretty with that. But you don't want to put it. I it's don't okay. care. What do y'all well, think? You may need it for the next hey, race. No, I got plenty. Okay. What do you think? What do y'all think? Yay, quick. Hurry, we hurry, 50, hurry, 50, hurry, hurry. So we'll huh? have to, we had 50 50. Oh, 50, I like 50. the monochromatic. Oh, no, add the orange. So, well, here, let's add just purple. Okay. So now you're seeing it with no it. No orange. No orange. You're right. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we have enough to transition it. All right. Meaning, when you're working with color like this, especially deeper values of color or hues of color, that means the amount of white to black. All these are in the lower shade, meaning they're more closer to black. So we need something that would kind of transition in orange because this is kind of the middle. I wish I had like another shade of orange so it kind of would make all this kind of go together better. So it wouldn't be so sharp. Okay, we have friends saying no, don't add it. No. Okay. That's beautiful. Ta-da. There we go. Ta-da-da-da. You have one little dahlia piece in there. Oh, mercy. Boop. Gone. Gone. That does look pretty with that though. It does. That, that does, that does, that does. So, the next one we're going to do is we're actually going to take three simple vases. And this definitely was on the fly, like, as you were coming down the stairs. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, well. Scary Mary. It'll turn out beautiful, we know. So, we're going to put these three together, and we're going to make one centerpiece or one vase out of those. Oh, where'd my wire go? Oh, no. Oh, no. Here it is. So this is just some wire that's been taped, more or less. And we're gonna twist this around here. And this really is just to hold this in place, like that, okay? I don't know if I can make it back around that way. Everyone said yeah. that this is just gorgeous. That last arrangement was oh, just good. gorgeous. Good, good. So now we're gonna go back and take some Curly Willow, my favorite. There's a lot more curly little lovers, sick lovers, than there are haters out there, by the way. That's fine. I'm telling you. And we're gonna wrap that around there. Okay. Miss Linda, our timer, she said it took 10 minutes to oh, make the first one. because I was talking too much. Should have been talking so So much. is the containers filled with Oasis? This is no. uh, Miss Betty Lou's first time watching no, live from Connecticut. No, ma'am, it's not. They're filled with just plain old preserve, preservative water. So someone asked if they could purchase these containers from our shop. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Or yes, sir, whoever. So now we're going to go back and make a collar on the top. Miss Yolanda from California, she said, just go ahead and ship that one to me. <laughs> so what we're going to do first is we're going to take this and I'm going to make that into there. And this will be the start of my grid to work from. And then I'm going to go back and take another piece and I'm going to grid it through like that. Someone asked, do we sell piece. Curly Willow? What? Lordy, yes. Miss Carrie watches all the time. She should know everything but the paint on the wall. Everything here. paint on the wall. We thought we'd scrape that off and get it out here. We would. Uh, Miss Georgia asks, could you use grapevine instead? Oh, easy. Grapevine, honeysuckle, anything that's pliable would be great in this situation. Actually, it probably actually be better. So Miss Diane asks, where do we get the deep blue hydrangeas? Those come out of South America, Colombia, I believe. Not remember which farm it comes from, though. Miss Marita said before she watched your show, she had no idea how to use curly willow, and now she does. She said, thank you for showing oh, us. I'm happy to share what little bit I do. So we're going to put that on top of there. Oop, except for that one, not. I'm going to wedge that one down there and I'll catch that on there better like that. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to wedge it down here like this. And I'm going to squeeze it right in through there. Rachel said that she's a florist and she asked with us being a wholesale company, do we ship fresh flowers? We are working on that right now. But 
the issue we've had, same thing with our classes that we wanted to do, like have where y'all could do a virtual design class or whatever, or make an arrangement for yourself at home, is that right now there's, as, as she probably well knows, there's a huge shortage or the availability is kind of off kilter right now because when COVID first hit, there was no one was buying flowers. Then after COVID did hit, a lot of the workers and the farms got sick. So there was no one left to go out and cut the crops. So then they had to kind of basically bulldoze everything down. And it's about a nine week process for the flowers to grow back. And so then they had to come back and replant everything, especially like things like um, baby's breath. That's a seed crop. So it doesn't really continue. It, once they plant it, they harvest it, and then they start all over again. Unlike a rose, which is all in a bush, they'll continue to, they just put those in suspension, more or less, and now they're back, back almost back to normal on, pro, on the availability. So Ms. Jacqueline said, when do we officially start fall decorating? We have the front of the store decorated in fall, kind of. Well, for what we have available. That's far. Yeah. yeah. For and what's then we in? have more coming in. But we plan on doing a walkthrough on that soon. So, let me show you the container. So I've actually taken this container and I've woven it around and made it and put these fresh dates through it. I guess I could do the thing with Jake, couldn't I? I would use the turner. Yeah. So then we have someone to ask how have you they said, have the, has the Happy Duo ever visited the farms where the flowers came from? I never have. Have you? I've never been to any farms outside of Arkansas. Okay. Miss Becky Take said, do back. we have... I have been in California. Okay. Miss Becky said, do we have an agent? Because she sees a guy on PBS with his own show, and he's a little goofy that we are much better. <laughs> we do not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Um, never mind. Okay. Mama always say you got nothing nice to say. You don't say nothing at all. So. Okay, that's right. No. Well, we'll just keep. We have lots more questions. Oh, are those dates? Love the dates. Love the dates. What are I the stems it. that you just added? I think These they are, meant the dates. Huh? I think they meant the this, dates. This, that's a date. Dates. Fresh dates. Oh, Miss Gina said it hugs to some of my favorite wedding, not wedding people. Beautiful florals as always. Uh, Miss Tappen. Oh. Hello, Miss Tappan. Someone, Miss Barbara said, have you ever thought of taking us on a tour of your store? That's we, what we're going to do we very actually, soon. Yeah, we've actually Let's do it next that. week. Let's commit to next week. Oh, yeah, because someone's going on vacation. Okay, I'm only gone for two days. Uh, I'll be back. Okay. No okay. Anyway, yeah, we're going to do that. That's hey, what well, we I'm planning. gone. You'll probably get a lot of work done because I won't be bothering you. Like, hey, you got to do this. <laughs> hey, what about this? I won't, I won't get any work done. How's that? Um, Shiny <laughs> butterfly. Shiny <laughs> butterfly. Uh, That's true. What three types of greenery can you not live without when doing your arrangements? That's a great question. Uh, probably I love thing. Okay, here's an, another trick I was going to do too today. These are actually Shiny butterfly. Silk. Uh, Eric's. Keep going. We're good. Keep going. Anyway, and I thought it'd be fun to kind of add these to it. That because is. they're not natural, but also, but they look, if you, if you shape them correctly and don't overdo them in the arrangement, they look pretty cool. So what three types of greenery? Oh gosh. Let me think. Mm, you know, I really don't have to live without green. I mean, I can live without it if I had to. You ever noticed I actually just do it because it's filming me yeah, you do. mechanics. Um, I love working with uh, eucalyptus, seed eucalyptus, more or less. Some, um, oh, cool, cool foliage here comes from New Zealand. I'm sure there's florist friends out there that know what this is. Help me out, guys. So, what are the peachy because flowers? Because Miss Frida, because Miss Frida's off today. Yeah, Miss Frida's off this week. So, what are those peachy flowers in the arrangement? Dahlias. Dahlias. They are dahlias. This is exotic and beautiful. They love the textures. That's Miss Chelsea. Oh, great. When we tour the store, please show us the sales room. Sell, design room? The sale room. Show us the sale room. The sale room? I'm not sure. Because everything at the tip of upstairs is the sale room. <laughs> so what happens when... Yeah, that's true. What happens to our happy when Chris goes on vacation? 
Well, well Chris doesn't take vacations, unfortunately. Yep. <laughs> I'm just going for two days. One of my best friends from a long time ago is getting married, so I'll be back. No worries. Actually, I've got to go to High Point. Oh yeah, what are we gonna do then? I guess we'll we're gonna try that dual thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, the dual thing. Oh goodness. Thing. We'll try, so We're stay try tuned. To do, do a thing. I actually have to go to High Point to do showrooms. I do showrooms at Furniture Market. And lo and behold, they're going to have us come in. I'm actually not going to fly. I'm going to drive. I'm still too nervous to fly. And I'm going to fly, drive in my little self. Me and, me and uh, Miss Norwood are going to, she's never been actually, so she, so she gets to actually see the really? showroom. Yeah. And we're going to go work on the natural light showroom and then we will come back and so we'll try the dual how long are you going for that i'm going to go uh, early saturday morning it's 11 hours supposedly and i'm going to drive in then and then work all day sunday all day monday and try to be back on the road tuesday so we'll have sunday or no saturday, saturday monday saturday. tuesday that we'll do dual dual one you'll probably be in your car driving back though yeah. so yeah Hmm. Okay, stay tuned. That will be yeah, fun. Yeah, stay tuned. And actually, we can easily do some stuff out of that showroom because I do all their silks there too, besides helping them do other stuff. Do so. dates come in artificial? They do. So, Miss Suzanne from Georgia loves watching. Oh, great. Uh, Miss Grace, not our Miss Grace, another Miss Grace loves our the color combinations. Oh, great. Miss Lorene said she's coming in late. Well, hey, better late than never. That's right. Uh, Miss Pam said you will be close to her. She's in Winston-Salem. Oh, we I've know been where that there. is. Yeah, and it's yep. Tri-City or whatever they call I it. I have been yeah. there. Yep, 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 yep. How much are these containers? Uh, hang on, let me hold it up. Okay. Let me finish it up and I'll hold it up. How's that? Sounds good. Everyone is loving this arrangement. Well, it's so easy. There's not that many stems if you really look at the overall count of it. Miss Patricia says, I don't want to miss a sh show, so please videotape ahead. Don't miss a show. <laughs> so what are the yellow flowers? You know, I guess we could, if we videotaped it, then they can't, they can't No, respond. we couldn't talk to them. But maybe that's okay, too. Maybe that would be what they're asking for, so they don't have to talk to us. That might be it, too. <laughs> See, y'all, look, they don't want to talk to us anymore. So everyone's saying this is beautiful. They love this arrangement. This is another foliage greenery from Australia. No, New Zealand. Oh, look, Miss Mary box. said High Point is five miles from her. Well, you might need to have a little down. meet and greet. Well, you know, we could do a meet and greet and have people actually on there from the area. That would be awesome. Oh, that would be fun. That would be so awesome. Okay, so if y'all are like going to be around High Point, yeah, let me I know. Yeah, I tried to, try to get those ladies from Mississippi to be here, yep. but they opted to go eat instead. So imagine that. Food over us. Can't do you ever it. work with Xenias? All the All time. All the time we did we last week. Yeah. When we have them in, we're having a little bit of, I think the heat's kind of got to some of them in our local grower. So, anyway. Everyone said this be This is beautiful. They love this arrangement. Very. Miss um, Bonnie said they love the chats. Oh, good. What is this? Very. very? Um, just very gardeny. Just kind of real organic. How's that? Very organic. I also want to show you how you don't have to always have a big container. You can take three smaller containers and make it into a bigger container. Beautiful. That did turn out kind of cute. Miss Debbie said she's close to High Point, too. Awesome. Well, come Carol see me. Miss Carol said, I will come. Yay. Yeah, come see me. So, anyway, that's today's happy. That turned out kind of fun to be the last minute thing that I pulled out. So, anyway, hopefully, y'all liked it. I'm going to move it over here for a second. Thanks for being with us today. For those local, remember today's Wednesday, so it's buy one, get one free at Tipton and Hearst on all the fresh flowers. So you still have time to come in this afternoon and get some flowers for the weekend. So anyway, and we got Gladstone on sale too. So now that I've done my car pitch. Yep, there you yeah. go. Anyway, so thanks so much for being with us. We'll see you tomorrow. And what are we gonna do tomorrow? I don't know. Some good, because I'll be off for two days after that, so. All about you, Christina. I know. All I about know. you. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed night. Thanks for watching. Bye.